All right, so before we wanted to get the Model Y out racing and doing a bunch of other stuff, we brought it down to Hughes Detail, and we got Brandon here, who did a, who actually did my Ford GT two years ago, it's been, uh, huh? Yeah, just about. And the GT's actually held up awesome. I mean, the car just looks just like the day I got it. It's been two years. We're with the Model Y now, and I usually don't protect the Teslas, but for this one, I wanted to give it some protection. And on this car, we actually did the new 10 mil film from Expel up from eight. It offers more protection, and it's more durable as well, but it can be a little hard, harder to put on. Yeah, okay. so the film is a little bit less pliable, so there's a bit of a amount of finesse that we have to do with it. Um, but once you actually properly learn how to use the film, it just does a much better job protecting the vehicle, so it's well worth it. Gotcha. So in this car, we did the full front. Just look how it shines. We also did the Modesta coating over the entire car. And the Tesla actually came with a bunch of, I mean, the paint's not perfect, right? As I pointed out in the previous video, but Brandon was able to get a lot of those imperfections out, yep. polish it out, and then give it this awesome, awesome clear coat. And the car just looks fantastic, check it out. And this whole front bumper was done in one piece instead of two pieces. So there's no, where were the seams normally on this? So normally, uh, if somebody were to use a pre-cut kit for this specific vehicle, we would have some sort of seam or relief, and the middle section here on the bumper would probably have a, a separate piece on it. Right. What we actually did is we custom wrapped the entire bumper so it's one big piece of film, and there's no relief cut, so this is one piece, so it looks like nothing's on the car. Yeah, that's great, because sometimes you can get dirt over time, and it kind of gets in some of the edges, and the edges are like completely wrapped around here. You can't even tell that this part has the expel, and these panels don't since we just did the front even though the entire car has been polished and coated it looks better it's gonna look it looks better now than it ever will because always when you pick these cars up they do such a good job but check it out also on the inside we did the center console we coated it in this matte finish so if you're familiar with Tesla's this gets fingerprinted up in about five minutes and it looks all nasty and things actually kind of stick to it. You can see it. I'll show you my Model 3 what it looks like. But look at this coating right here. What is this? Is this so a... this is wrapped with Expel Stealth paint protection film. So instead of it being a clear film or a glossy, um, this is actually what's made to protect matte painted pieces. So when you apply it over a gloss surface, it turns it satin. So it does a really great job of hiding all the fingerprints and scratches and adds a kind of a unique touch to the interior. Wow, this is, this is awesome. Look at that. All right, so there you go. The Model Y came out awesome. Thanks, Brandon, as always. If you guys are looking to coat Ceramic coat, wrap the car, tint, everything. Hughes detailing down in Miami, Florida. Oh, look who's here. Savage Garage Crew. Yo. The Mercy's coming out to drag race? Why not? Oh, shit. I'll do it from like a roll. No roll. Otherwise, I'll just stomp it off the does it, does, Do they not let you do like a 30 roll no. or a 20? No. Okay. Can you stomp it off the line? Yeah, I can. That's it. Boom. You know, you know it's a good race? You get one pass. Look, one you, pass. One you, pass is like 1% on the clutch. <laughs> like 5%. Mar one pass Marcy versus me in the Model Y. That's oh. fair. Is it? Yeah. Why not? Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, the little, the little SUV, the red SUV. My wife's car. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's so fucking hot, bro. That'd be good, dude. How this fast one is This one we're going versus St. Randy's going to race. This Tesla, the Model X. Okay. So you and gotta you remind I, me, what are the horsepower numbers on these? This or? one's like um, 850. Wow. Ish. Mine, the red one's like, I don't know. I don't know. 500 maybe. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so I actually looked it up uh, last night. So this was like at the crank back in the day, it was like 570. 570. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit more, so. but that's what it is. That, that sounds fair, right? Okay, I'll just do it again for you. Oh my God, so this insane. back in the day supposedly made about 571. Okay. Um, I thought it was a little bit higher, but if the Model Y is doing 500-ish, yeah. I mean, it'll definitely get me at the jump, but yeah. maybe at the top end. Exactly. It'll either be close or I'll be a little bit ahead. I hope a little bit ahead. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't even run a test pass yet. Okay. So I think, you know how to drag race? Oh yeah, okay. absolutely. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's a, valid, it's a valid question. It's a Lambo. Yeah. Right? You only Never get so been many, here. You only get so many tries, and we want to make sure they yeah. all count. That's exactly. all. Exactly. All right. Cool. Absolutely. All right. So here we go. We got me and the Model Y versus Jimbo and the Murcielago. The stats actually show it's really cool. It's really close. It's close. Yeah. It's very close. Yeah. It's gonna be driver. That's gonna be a big part of it. I know you're. You've done this many more times than I have. But I, I plan on giving you. Ever, ever, ever gonna win. Never gonna Brooks win. Brooks is gonna destroy <laughs> Jimbo. Sorry. Now we talked about no excuses because you, you're not a drag race because you drag yeah, race yeah, your absolutely. C4 bed. I've heard all about it already. Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> so, so there's yeah, no excuse. I've a few times, so yeah, okay. if I screw up, I look like an idiot. So, because there's money on the line, Randy's betting on. Me. I'm betting on you. Who are you betting on? I'm betting on you. You're betting on me. I love Jimbo. Yeah. I'd be, I would love yeah. to pay Jimbo $100. On this. Okay. I put I put 50. Yeah. So you I don't know who Jimmy's betting on. Brooks will never live it down if he loses to Jimbo. Well, I was going to give you the jump off the Ever. line. I, I don't think it's fair. No. But now I can't. It's fair now. You've now got reaction time. Everything's in because it's actually very close. Yeah. So. This is supposed to run what, 11, 12 0? Something like 12 1 is 12 1. 12 1. And uh, 0 60 and 3.6. Okay, okay. And this okay. does 3 4. Yeah. 3 5. I've already done it. If it was brand new. If it was if brand, it was new. brand okay. new. He's so the, got slicks. That's actually not fair. Yeah, yeah you have yeah. slicks. Yeah, so let's talk about what, are the, what are the variables. Now, this car has, it has a flame tune on it, which actually would make it a little bit slower. Okay, so, so you might flames. So it's not like a performance tune. It has our triple eights, which yep. is in my favor. Yep. And then I'm rear wheel drive. Yes. So it's a little bit faster, less mass for the ego okay. system to get. My advantage is all you have to do is step on it. And that's it. And I have all wheel drive. Yes. And my car's from the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's from present day. So, so I can, you have a lot more work stuff yes. to worry about than yes. I do. As right. long as I don't miss a shift. Yeah, don't miss a shift. It'll be close. Okay. So we'll and see. we have the exhaust microphone on the V12. It's oh, yeah. gonna sound incredible. We got exhaust mic, no exhaust mic on the Y. That really doesn't work out too well. But I'm excited, this is gonna be a cool race. All right, we got the Model Y coming up. Grab my Tesla, lightweight wheels on bags. Against the Audi RS5. back there I had to go for it because there was money on the line but I don't think he went anywhere I looks like I ran 11.9 in the quarter mile 
We gotta see what his problem is over here. If doing a burnout, spinning all the way down the track in first gear, and actually make it to the end of the track and my car didn't break and it only cost me $150, perfect. <laughs> <laughs>